Uh, yeah, absolutely delighted, obviously. Uh, they're a very good team. Um, there's a reason why uh, we're uh, top two teams in the league. Um, I think it was just a great battle out there tonight and um, very pleased with uh, especially the, the last 10 minutes of the first period, the whole of the second period and the first 10 of the third. I think we really stuck to our game plan, really executed on everything that we've been working on during the week. And um, you could see uh, the result there at the end. And um, I think it was a great battle for us and uh, it, it, a really exciting game for the fans tonight. It seemed in the third a lot of trust was put into uh, Sam Duggan and in particular Matthew Myers um, to see this game out. Can you talk about um, how you assess their uh, performance tonight? Because it seemed that they were uh, quite a key to victory. Yeah, well, we felt that they'd had a really good start to the game. And as uh, the first and the second periods went on, they were absolutely rock solid, um, especially defensively. Um, and then they were getting some really good grind minutes in the in the ozone as well and being responsible with the puck. It's a lot of responsibility for a young guy like Duggan, but uh, the only way he's going to develop is if you put him into those sort of situations. And then Matthew Myers, obviously, he's a guy who's got the experience. And um, you look at his PK game, how rock solid he is defensively there. He's a, he's a gamer, and when it comes to the big-time games, he's, he's always going to put everything on the line to make sure that we win and that's that's what really gets him going is these kinds of games so it's not entirely surprising to see him as one of the uh, performers tonight well i mean obviously we're disappointed uh, i thought we came out of the game you know the gate strong tonight um three penalties though kind of changed the momentum a bit and you know when when you give up a, a shorthand a goal it's it's tough it's tough to recover sometimes and uh i thought i thought the second period though i think cardiff came in and outworked us in the second period and you know, we tried a little pushback in the third, but it just didn't, just not enough. You know, it's a very quick turnaround uh, between today and tomorrow, but you uh, get a good night's rest. There's very minimal travel time. Um, what is your message for your team and what adjustments are you looking to make for the game tomorrow? I think, you know, it's the same for both teams, obviously. Um, but I think our message tomorrow is, you know, we got to come prepared to work hard. Uh, you know, obviously, Cardiff's a great team. Um, and you're not going to win just showing up. You're going to have to come out here and uh, work hard. And it's a, obviously a very important game. You know, it's almost, you know, we can't lose it. You know, we have to come out and, you know, do our best, obviously. One of your uh, standout players tonight was uh, number eight, Lewis Hook, and he's uh, been put on a line with uh, Patrick Dwyer and uh, Kyle Bourne. Um, can you talk about a little bit about his development this year and um, just um, what he's done to of earn so much responsibility in the whole lineup? Well, you know, he seems to be a good fit with that line. Uh, he skates well. Um, he's come, you know, he's coming at the start of the year. We weren't 100% sure what to expect from uh, from Lewis, and uh, but he's fit in. He's fit in well. He's, he's, a, he's gonna he's gonna be a good player in this league, and um, he's already, you know, there. Um, but, you know, he's just got to keep working hard, and I think that's the key to his game is, you know, he, he skates well, he's got to work hard. Rob, as always, thank you very much for joining us. Nice time TV, and we look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you very much.